Where do you go when you need a quick breakfast? Fast food, but which one makes it best? Today we've got breakfast sandwiches from four different fast food restaurants. We've got Wendy's, we've got Jack in the Box, we've got Burger King, and we have McDonald's. We're going to be comparing the sandwiches two at a time and the best two will go to a final where we're going to determine what the best fast food breakfast sandwich is. First up, McDonald's versus Wendy's. I'm gonna cut this right down the golden arches. First up, we are comparing Wendy's to McDonald's. Now the Wendy's sandwich has chicken and bacon with a sweet, almost croissant. And then you guys probably already know what the McGriddle is. Uh, this is probably the most famous of all the breakfasts we're trying. It has eggs, it has sausage, cheese, and then almost a pancake bun on the outside. So these two are both sweet, which is why we're comparing them. The other two that we're going to be comparing today are not sweet. This uh, Wendy's sandwich, I've never had it before. Mm -hmm. um, and it's also the only one with chicken. All the other ones have sausage. Should we give that one a go first? Yeah. All right, let's try it. Hmm. Definitely an interesting combination of the, the sweetness. Sweet and salty, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the chicken, but I do like it. I don't really think of chicken as a breakfast type meat, but right. it tastes pretty good. I wouldn't say it's incredible. Nothing super special, but right. I mean, I don't know. Maybe none of these are. And the uh, maple bun is not like really very sweet, actually. I would say it actually smells better than it tastes. But the chicken is really good. It's crispy. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a whole lot of bacon taste. I, I didn't either. In there. I see the bacon, but I didn't taste the bacon. It kind of just tastes like a chicken Dang. sandwich. All right, we're going to taste the... McDonald's McGriddle. McGriddle. It's been a while since Now this I've had one, one of doesn't these. even have bacon, so it's true. Mm. Mm -hmm. Definitely more flavors coming through, more sweetness. Mm -hmm. You've got the cheese in there and the sausage, which I'm tasting when I didn't taste the bacon. Yeah. I wanted to like the Wendy's one more, but I think this one's probably better. I can taste everything in that sandwich. I don't know what they put inside this bun, if it's like some kind of syrup concoction or something, but it sort of um, does taste like it. It's definitely sweet. Mm -hmm. I think this one has like a million calories. So if you're on a diet, <laughs> yeah, don't eat this thing. If you're on a diet, probably don't eat any fast food breakfast. <laughs> any of these. Yeah. Um, but as far as taste goes, it's really rich in flavor. Yeah. Um, so it's pretty good. So sadly, it seems like the Wendy's, I wanted it to do well. I really like chicken and this chicken. It was good chicken, but um, I don't know. All the flavors of the McDonald's McGriddle are coming through. So McDonald's is moving on. Next up. Burger King versus Jack in the Box. So, so Burger King, yep, Jack, Jack in the Box. Man, these things look almost identical. Mm -hmm. It looks like they probably use the same croissant. Yep, <laughs> that's funny. I think they do use the same croissant. They look exactly <laughs> the same. Here's the Burger King, and that one is the Jack in the Box. <laughs> they both have sausage, egg, and oh, cheese. See, cheese. Yep, this has cheese. This one, you can't tell that there's egg as much. It's kind of smaller, but these are pretty much exactly the same, so. Split it down the middle. They have the same ingredients, but I guess we're just gonna have to see which one has a better taste. Yep. And Jack in the Box is the only one that comes in a box. Whoa. Maybe that's why their name's Jack in the Box. That's the only difference I'm able to see is that, let's see, which one is which? <laughs> this is Burger King. It's a little tiny bit darker. The difference I'm seeing is the egg. Look at the oh, yeah. difference of eggs. Oh, this one looks fake. The Burger mm -hmm. King one looks fake because it's all the same exact color. Right. And the Jack in the Box actually looks like a real egg that they just um, fried. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. The patties are about the same, um, but the Jack in the Box may be mm -hmm. slightly thicker. Yeah. So, hmm, interesting. All oh, right. I wanted to say one thing real quick. Okay. I do not like Jack in the Box. Oh. I've okay. had their food a few times. I don't eat there very often, and I've never really liked it. And I actually really kind of despise their marketing. <laughs> okay. So I don't wow. eat there, but I'm curious to see if I like this sandwich because mm -hmm. so far it actually looks like higher quality. Yeah. So let's All right. see what we think. You want to go for the real egg first? Yeah, Jack in the Box it is. All right. Hmm. It tastes pretty good. It's It doesn't have a lot of flavor, but maybe that's just coming from it's not sweet like the last two were. I was gonna say it's not great. It's decent. You can definitely taste the sausage in there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm, if I'm getting a lot of cheese though. Oh, that's true. Well, let's try the Burger, Burger King. King. All right. Let's see how that compares. Fake egg. Fake egg coming up. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes fake. Doesn't it? Tastes fake to me. You can taste the different ingredients, but 
I don't know if it's a good taste. I think I like the croissant slightly better on the Burger King. Me too. But the ingredients inside. Mm, let me. I gotta take another bite of this one. Mm. I've gotta say I like the sausage and the eggs better in the Jack in the Box. If you right. combine the croissant from the Burger King and then the insides of the Jack in the Box, you might get something better. But that's not how they do it. So. My vote is going to be on Jack in the Box. This one's a tough one for me. I think I actually slightly prefer the Burger King. Better. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, even with the fake egg. Yeah. Maybe let's rate these both one out of ten, and then we'll see which one will go forward. All right. You want to rate the Jack in the Box first? Yep. Okay. Six. Six. Okay. <laughs> Same right. score. What yep. about the Burger King? Six Four. and a half. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I just liked it a little bit better, but not, mm -hmm. not that much more. All right. Well, I think that means Jack in the Box is moving on. Final round, McDonald's versus Jack in the Box. Boop. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah, cleansing the palate. On to the finals. We've got McDonald's McGriddle versus Jack in the Box, whatever this is called. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think they all just pretty much have generic names. It's yeah. their sausage, egg, and cheese, croissant sandwich. Right. So. Chris sandwich? Is that Chris what you call sandwich. it? Croissant sandwich. Chris croissant sandwich. sandwich. So right. here we've got the McGriddle. And then here we've got the <clears throat> Jack in the Box Chris sandwich. You want to go for the McGriddle first? Yep. All right. <laughs> if you like a sweet breakfast, you're probably going to like the McGriddle better. Yep. But if you prefer something just savory, you're probably going to like the Jack in the Box. Right. So when this first came out, I don't know how many years ago, it's been a long time ago since this one came out. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it because it was just a lot different. It's very different than the other sandwiches you can get out there for breakfast. Mm -hmm. So that's one reason why I really like the McDonald's McGriddle. You're kind of combining all of the different breakfasts. You've got the pancake, you've got the eggs, you've got the sausage, and you've even got some cheese in there. I mean, I guess you don't have any you know, cereal or oatmeal, but. <laughs> so if you don't really know what you want for breakfast, then go eat this because it's got something. It's got everything. everything. <laughs> yeah, all right. all right. Now on to the croissant sandwich, as mm -hmm. we're calling it. Hmm. You know what? Definitely more egg flavor. I was gonna say, I can taste the egg and even the sausage a little bit better yeah. in this because the McGriddle kind of hides that a little bit with the sweetness of the the bun. Right. So the sausage and egg definitely come out better. So like you were saying, for savory people, this is definitely mm -hmm. the better sandwich to this go This one with. is just sweeter. I'm gonna actually just try some plain McGriddle egg. Mm. And it really just doesn't have any flavor. I would At say all. that doesn't really taste like much. Yeah, it, it doesn't have much flavor. Now I'm just gonna try plain egg from the Jack in the Box. Wait, do I? That there tastes a, that tastes pretty good. I would say it's not super flavorful also either, but it tastes more like an egg than the McDonald's one does. Right. Definitely. I think with some salt and pepper maybe that would taste more yeah. eggy. So which one is which one's better? I don't know. One more bite of each. This one's really hard for me because they're both very different. This one tastes more breakfasty to me. Now, I don't get a lot of fast food breakfast. I mean, rarely ever. I've probably only had fast food breakfast like two times in my life. I don't know, for a fast food breakfast, I'm probably gonna say the McGriddle is better, but <clears throat> but the Jack in the Box reminds me more of like a breakfast that I would have at a home. Traditional breakfast, right. yeah. I'm, I'm with you there. Uh, the McGriddle, I think just with its flavor varieties, I just like it better. It's just more enjoyable mm -hmm. to eat. The Jack in the Box tastes good as a breakfast sandwich, uh, as a traditional breakfast sandwich, but just when you compare each of them, they're, it's not mm -hmm. quite as good right. as the McGriddle. So I guess we're saying the McGriddle, there's a reason it's the most famous breakfast, at least for me, that's the only one that I've heard of. Uh huh. So I guess the McGriddle, congratulations, you are the best breakfast sandwich. King of the fast food breakfast sandwiches. Good job, McDonald's. So I have to take back the hating that I did on Jack in the Box, um, even though I still don't like their marketing. Their food, that food actually was really good. No more hating on Jack in the Box, at least for now. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to let us know what your favorite fast food breakfast is in the comments down below. And while you're down there, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next one. See ya. Scooby doo, be doo, be doo, be a Scooby doo, doo, doo.